Hey, hey, Christy, it's Calvin again. I, uh, just calling again, just, uh, checking in or whatever. Uh, called before a few times, I don't know, if maybe you didn't get the, I got all my bars. So anyway, it's getting kind of busy, and, but I'm never too busy to call you. So call me back. Uh, you know the number. Okay, bye. So, uh, is everything okay? Something wrong? You mad? Dean? Yeah. Something bad happens when you become a manager. You put on your fucking tie and you get your fucking little manager card and you think you're so fucking cool just because you write the schedule and you get to tell us what to do when in reality you know you're not even worth a bit of the fucking bullshit. Oh, Naomi! Relax. Relax, woman. I guess if you become manager, you won't be able to date any of the waitresses. While working here, you'll probably find some of your fellow employees attractive. It's okay. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. But it's important not to act on those urges. For shenanigans to run like an efficient, well-oiled machine, it's a must that everyone act as a team. And when employees date each other, unfortunately, it complicates that. So for that reason, we strongly discourage such relationships from forming. Dean, Amy, I just sat you. Oh, shit, what do we got? Well, yours look cool. They look like business people. All right. What about mine? I don't know. They don't speak English. Foreigners! I'm sorry. Are you mad at me? No, I swear. I'm just going by the rotation. I fucking hate foreigners. It's such bullshit. Like, they don't know how to tip. Oh, they know. Oh, yeah, they fucking know.